at all right um let's see playing some blue white control tonight nothing nothing too spicy um the the one notable notable inclusion um we have two Gideons of the trials uh one Gideon Jura and then two Tafiri um as as you would suspect I uh I have a small small love for this card so far it's been really really awesome and standard for me and so we're gonna try it in, in modern too and see how it works out so um I don't know I don't think there's really anything else to explain Teferi works really well with cheap interaction in the forms of like path and spell snare mana leak so like it, this is gonna be fun this is gonna be really cool so do 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 let's do that all right so everything should be good to go all right let's hop in league Uh, constructed leagues. Mm, they do. All right. <clears throat> All right. Graveyards popped out. We can close that. Man, this hand's really relying on the spreading seas being good. But we have double field of ruins so that can fix our mana. Man, I'm. This is really close, right? Like, this cryptic's almost uncastable right now. And double detention sphere probably is not the best either. I, th I think this is a mulligan. We have mana problems already. I think we have cards that may or may not be impactful. So we'll go ahead and just mulligan this. Yeah, this hand's much better. I would love some cheap interaction. Immediately get punished for not keeping the first hand. Uh, we're going to fetch a shock here and play the Seer Missions. I don't want this Plains. I definitely want this Field of Ruin. So next turn we can go... Depending on... If they, if they show us they have access to Tron this turn, I'm going to leave up Mana Leak. Um, otherwise, I'm going to Serum Visions play Tap Land, and then on three, um, we'll, we'll Field of Ruin them. Okay, so they're not going to have Tron next turn, so it's fine to just go Serum Visions here, play Tap Land. I would love this mana leak. Alright, so this tells me they don't have a land in hand. Power plant's the first one they searched up, so that's going to be the first one we kill.
So I think this is, I actually don't know, like, I can't give you matchup analysis for this deck because, like, I just haven't played with blue-white control enough to be able to say, oh, yeah, this is a really bad matchup for us. But, like, these mana leaks, man, that's, that's really bad for us. I think I'm just going to play this island and pass. And if they don't do anything... Uh, so this leaves up Cryptic Command. And if they don't do anything impactful, I get to click them. And then whatever this gets is going to get Spreading Seized. So... I would love to click you. Worm coil, worm coil. I think it's right just to... Hey, Ryan, I'm glad to see you, bud. Um, I think it's right to take a worm coil here. Like, we're, we're getting them off of... Like, they're not going to have Tron again this turn. So, these are the most castable cards. So, I think if we take one, Spreading Seas is mine, leave up Mana Leak, Mana Leak this Worm Coil if they hit a land, and then next turn they have... If they hit another land, they have Karn that we can then Mana Leak. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, they even fixed it, so... Unfortunately, this isn't the end-all, be-all, because they have this O-Stone that they can pop, so... Teferi is really great because it's going to... Hopefully they'll pop this O-Stone at some point. And then we can play Teferi and leave up Mana Leak. So, uh, Ryan, you, you, didn't, you didn't go to FNM tonight, correct? You stayed home and let Sierra go? I don't know if I agree with playing this out. So this tells me they didn't hit a land. I think this is worth leaking, though. So you, you stayed home with the kiddos and took care of them and did all that good stuff. Such a good dad. Man, we're so good. We're so good at this game. So they're really incentivized to pop this now. I'm going to untap my lands. And then, like, we have these colonnades to get in and, and start smashing face. See, the best part about this is, is they're going to blow up their other O-Stone. Yeah, this is, this is fine. Okay, so we can snap Serum Visions, and that leaves up Mana Leak, or I think the line I like is Upkeep, Bounce Their Mine, Draw a Card, so that keeps them, that keeps them off of Tron again this turn. Yeah, I mean, we had to have a land before we can start getting in with Colonnade, but like, that, that is our, our clock at this point, so... I really like the, the cryptic bounce draw line. 
Is there any reason not to do that on our turn to try to hit the land? Because if we hit an untapped land, then we get to leave up Mana Leak as well. Like, there's, there's no reason not to do this on our turn, correct? I mean, like, either way, we're, we're taking them off for a turn. And, like, if we draw a land, then we get to snap Cryptic Command. I'm going to go ahead and fire off the Serum Visions. And, like, if we ever find another land, we have snap for Cryptic. Oh, I would love these Spreading Seas. I'm more worried about shutting off these tap this their Tron right now. Man, that's that's really awkward. Hmm. So we can I think I like going spreading seas here. Trying to find a land. Because this incentivizes them to pop the O stone. So even if they don't. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna pass it back here. Yeah, this leaves up leak and path. So they, they pop the O stone. It's just time walk. If they have land. Okay, so they have Tron online if they get rid of this mine. So, they get to pop the O-Stone this turn, puts them on Tron, and we don't ever get... They do that at end step, and we never get a chance to take them off of Tron again. I think it's correct just to pass here. We'll move to discard and discard this search. No, upkeep it won't do it either because then they'll just get to play land for turn. Yeah, we we never we never get a, a time to actually take them off of Tron. Stifle the trigger. So depending on what they do, we can cryptic. Okay, so we're gonna cryptic their mine, I guess. This is Karn. Oh, just world breaker. I'm going to float a white mana and let this resolve. Five, six, seven. So now if they try to play Karn, this still leaves them enough mana to play Karn. Um, they're they're in our standard deck, so this lets them play Karn second main, and we can mana leak it. Actually, we can. Oh, we can cryptic their mine. No, I really want to turn this into a plane, into a, an island. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll just untap and draw. We'll just pass again. So this leaves out Spell Snare and Path. Um, probably. Are we are we supposed to transfer those over? Because I did not. So I I thought you were doing that, Ryan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, that's really annoying. Yeah, this resolves. Two, three, four. So they don't have enough to actually animate it. I mean, to pop this. So that's good. So we can cryptic bounce the O stone. And that doesn't get us anywhere though. I don't think it actually matters if they get drawn on at this point. Like, it makes our two mana leaks in our hand really bad, but... I'm just gonna save this cryptic for, like, actual threats. Second mine's really bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't think and just save the stone for our threats. Which like our threats is just colonnade at this point, so Yeah, I have a path for that, so I don't care. I'm actually going to snap path to incentivize them to pop this. And this lets us preserve the other one in our hand. So they should probably pop stone here. And I think it's actually correct to path this. I think it's actually correct to path the worm coil again so they don't have a clock. And then I would love to fetch. Immediately punished. So we have Snap Path for another Worm Coil. We have Cryptic for this Karn. Okay, yeah, it, like, it feels pretty, pretty awful. Like, we felt pretty good to start the game, and now it's just, I'm pretty sure we're almost 100% dead at this point. Yeah, it goes quarter for our colonnades really bad. I would love to use Ghost Quarter's ability. Karn?
Counter target spell, draw a card. Is this second Karn? Because I'll probably pack it into the second Karn. So these look correct. These are awful. Spell snare is pretty bad. This look right. I think I think the sideboarding plan is fine. Like Stony isn't great against them, but I think it's I think it's good enough that it should come in. Um, should I be worried about um warping wheel? I don't think so. I don't think warping wheel is an instant, correct? Because it has counterspell mode on it. I think that's fair. Um, I think if if uh, Tron continues to be popular, there's there's argument to uh, to play something like that. Okay, so there's there's nothing I really care about warping wheel for. We have four sorceries in our deck. Yeah, this is this isn't great, but I think it's better than what we had. Um, we have, yeah, we have turn two Stony Silence. Hope that's good. I mean, yeah, but like, it also kills our V-Click. Oh yeah, look at look at the stony silence value. I mean, I kept in two leaks. But like late game is a fucking awful card. Got him. All right, so how many ways do they have to get this off the table now? Well, we're probably dead because we missed the land drop. And they're just going to have Tron, so. No, I, I kept in two. Yeah, I kept in two. I got the Spell Snare instead. Yeah, I don't want this path. Hell yeah! Pop! Pop goes the weasel. Oh, I should have got planes. I don't think it actually matters, but... Pop goes the weasel. Um... I have to fear he's Drew. I just... I don't have a way of getting them to you unless you, like, drive to Sedalia bright and early.
Man, I really wish I had a crucible so I could just like stone rain them the rest of the game. I I think this is fine to draw. So we have detention sphere for any threat that comes down. And then we get to follow it up with a uh, ceremonious rejection. Hopefully they just don't hit Tron here. Of course they have Tron. Please don't jam. I asked you nicely. I asked you nicely, opponent. Why would you do that? All right, let's uh, let's try this again. That was that was not Big Mama. That was the big old abusive stepfather. I would love to play first. What's our hand look like? Yeah, I think this is this is fine. I'd keep this. The good old zero one one two matchup. Last scene playing Hollow One. I think I just want to get Island here. Did I do it, Dad? Are you proud of me now? Yep, this definitely looks like a hollow one. Hopefully they have like three of them and we can just detention screw them all away. Alright. Are we dead? Alright, we're not dead. Gotcha. And so if they play something here, we can detention sphere it. Otherwise, we're going to play colonnade. Flame Wake Phoenix, Gromag Angler, land. Okay. That's fine. We get to detention sphere that. <laughs> Joke's on you. They're actually Grixis. Dude, Hollow One is... Like, this card was very, very underrated. Yeah, sure. My hand didn't even get worse. Yeah, go crazy, opponent. They're going to die to this colonnade very quickly. And I'm 100% like verdicting this turn. I'm going to politely ask my opponent to pick him up. White, white, blue. Pick him up. What is this? Phoenix? Hmm. 
All right, so I'm not feeling too terribly great right now about this, but... So we're dead next turn, so we really need this search to find a Wrath. Actually, we're not dead next turn because we can animate Colonnade to block the Tassiger. But then we lose our land. Now we're probably dead, right? So now we need Wrath or Bust. And these things have haste now, too. Why did I let that uh, that thing resolve? I'm so bad. Yep, no apps. Cool. I want the Celestial Purge. I want these Rest in Pieces. Uh, the Concede Counter doesn't work right now. Do I want Timely? Or is this just, like, only for Burn? Probably don't want these snaps if I'm bringing in Rest in Peace. <laughs> oh, you, you are right. I did bottom the, the other verdict on the... Um, Okay, so what am I cutting then? I don't think I have time for Sphinx's Rev in this matchup. You don't like Serum Visions? What uh, what makes you say that, Ryan? Because I like cutting Sphinx's Rev first. I can see something like this. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, that makes way more sense. I thought you were talking about cutting serum visions. Something like that, Drew. I think this looks fine. I kind of want Elspeth over a second spreading seas. Like, this is a wrath. I think this looks fine. Yeah, I'll keep. I'll do this. This looks fine. Man, we are really relying on this spreading sea, this uh, serum visions to do work, but like we have rest in peace on two. I just I don't think you can keep this right. Oh, man, I really want to keep this, but I've been punished by way too many one-landers. Fuck it, we're going to hope they have a fucking burning inquiry. We're going to hope for a burning inquiry. Immediately not punished. Immediately rewarded. Well, that's rude, opponent. Boo! Bad opponent, boo! This gives away information, but it also preserves our life total. 
Because if they if they play something into the leak this turn, that's fine. And if they don't, I think taking rest in peace is fine. That tells me they have a uh, a graveyard threat. I'm gonna go ahead and leak this. We could get punished, but I think this is fine. Um, so this tells me by them taking rest in peace that they have something like a Gurmak Angler or a Tassiger or just like something to do interact with their graveyard. And we're gonna fucking play this cryptic on curve. Good lord. Are we are we like the best at this game or are we the best? Don't actually answer that. I forgot they played this. I forgot they did this. Miss sequencing. Immediately punished. Alright, I, I think I've seen enough. I'll I'll go ahead and scoop it up there. That, um, that did not go well. Um, five? Yeah, five islands. <laughs> Easily one. We were, uh, so I went ahead and conceded that game because we were very, very dead to the uh, their onboard like presence, and we were so far off of casting casting either of our wraths that it didn't matter. The good old blue cards, basic planes hand. I mean, this is what we came to do, right? Um, so Serum Visions can't be cast off a basic island. Otherwise, I would agree with you. This tells me... This makes me think Storm. Alright, this makes me think Blue Moon. This makes me think Storm. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely makes me feel storm. Play some goblins. Make a billion goblins, opponent. Modern staple, pure sight Miro. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think this is Storm. What the hell is going on on the, that side of the table? So this is okay. This is infinite mana next turn. Oh well, no, this is just like 
Infinite Scries? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna politely tell you to pick him up, opponent. I would love to use the Tension Fears ability. I don't know, but they were gonna do things. <laughs> Naturally, they have the second one. All right, have fun, opponent. I don't know what's going on, but I really want to tell him to pick him up. Should I do this during the upkeep? Just bounce their thing, draw a card? Or, I think I'm going to hold this cryptic for whatever they're actually going to try to kill us with. Ooh, you really smart, Ryan. You so smart. You so smart, Ryan. Uh, that's not what I want. I want return target permanent to his underhand draw card. Yep, yep, he was standing in the way. And I dunked him on his face. Oh, I guess I guess me singing doesn't really make sense if uh you all can't hear my music. I'm really, really confused. This definitely feels like an FM officially. Opponent plays janky deck that no one knows what's going on. I'm just going to F6. You go crazy, opponent. Good old disrupting shoal. I just want to know how we're dying. I have officially no idea what is going on. Main board spell appears. Main board and snaring bridge. So let's say I know what that card is. But uh, for everyone in chat's sake, we're going to... Uh... And so all cards from your library face down, then shuffle all cards from your graveyard into your library. Is this just like lab band combo? Are they like all in lab man? Yeah.
I should have read for two just to draw cards. This makes me really feel like they have a, uh, they have a, uh, what's it called? I want to stop doing my, I don't know if I'd consider that a punt, but. Yeah, we're going to let them exile their entire deck, and then I'm going to try to snap Cryptic Cryptic Bounce the Lab Man. Which one? This one? You, you're going to have to be a little more descriptive than that card. Okay. They're in their main phase. You can have, you can see this merfolk. Love how they had to clarify that Q is the untap symbol. I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to that one opponent. Um, return target permanent to his owner hand, draw a card. Bounce this one. Do I win? Okay, cool. I want these. I, I think that's it. Like, the rest of this doesn't look great. <laughs> Guess what I want to play next week. Ryan, you're so bad. I love it. What's our hand look like? The good old one land, unkeepable. The good old one land we're going to keep and hope to scry into a land. Alright, we really need a land. I really, really need some lands. Five drop is not a land. Thanks, though, Moto. I don't know, man. That's that's pretty loose. Like we we saw them have infinite counter spells game one. I would love to draw this Celestial Colonnade. Go! <laughs> 
I would love to draw this flooded strand. I'm just going to pass here. Um, in a turn, I'm going to click them. So this leaves up Mana Leak. Yeah, Thirst Away. What the hell is this thing? What is this doing in their deck? Is it because it can trade with my Colonnade? His name on, on Moto is Perseal. That's that's his name. Go go look him up. Left two cards on top, you say. Well, let's see what you got in your hand. I would love to draw that. So now I get to play Gideon. I get to play Gideon, have Mana Leak up. I'm going to prevent all the damage from this thing in the ice. This works if it flips, right? This is still the same card, right? I don't want to deal with this this game. We're going to find out, I guess. You got butt spotted. That's even better. Got him. <laughs> oh, no butts given. I really want to draw that one. And here I'm just going to pass. I'm going to try to click them again to end step. And I have the spell snare for any... For uh, one of their combo pieces. Cool! It does work! Scry away, my friends. I'm gonna politely ask you to put that put that thing back where it came from or so help me. Resolves. Cool. Resolves. I'm going to click you. What do you got? Yeah, you can you can keep all those. Yep. That one. Play this one. Hooray! Teferi won us a game this this league. That's all that matters.
Ryan, you're you're awful quiet over there. Why do I feel like you're uh you're trying to find this guy on on Moto? I think this hand's fine. We have Paths for their dude. We have Gids to do work. Unfortunately, we have this field of ruin, which is really awkward, but. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> that was a really good draw. Actually, both of those are really good draws. And those are straight booty do. Oh, I want to play this search. Hmm. I'm going to play Gideon, and I'm going to Emblem here. Because now Lab Man can't kill us this turn. Punch. I would love to draw that. I'm just doing this to literally draw a card. This says two mana draw a card. Play this planes. Come on, Moto. I almost fucked up, guys. I almost fucked up an F6. I probably should have passed this first. And then they redirect that to Spellskite, and then I get to. That's really aggressive. Yeah, I, I did punt this. I should have uh, passed this. They redirect the spell sky. I then get to plus Gideon on this to save my Gideon this turn. Yeah, I, I should have... Wow, that is really aggressive. That's a really good draw. That's a really good draw. 
Yeah, they're, they're going to get to flip this thing in the ice, most likely, which makes me really sad. But, like... But then we just get to clean up the board. Really? I like... Me likey. I would love to draw this Gideon. Snap is not a bad draw either. Pick him up. Oops. Nope. That's the one we want. We want XL. Well, they left it on top. Resolves. And then we get to snap past this merfolk when it comes back down. We did get to see a flip thing in the ice tonight, so that's a plus. I don't know what our opponent's doing, but this deck's kind of cool. So their last card needs to be like Spell Pierce or Dispel to punish us. Cool! Cool. So yeah, like, we <laughs> we just get to take over this game. We get to path this, and then we have this Teferi un un uncontested. We have this Gideon uncontested. We take over the game pretty easily from there, so. Now hopefully, hopefully he responds. Because I'm not gonna lie, if a uh, if a notable if a, if a donation came through for me to play that, I would probably play it. Because that deck looks like a pile, but it looks like a fun pile. Yeah, Ryan, let me, once you get a list from him, if he gives it up, uh, let me know, because I would, I would be interested in seeing the, the full list. Well, we're on the play, we have the Spell Snare, oh, I'm keeping this, this hand's great. Man, Moto's pairing system's so good. The good old one two zero zero pairing. All right, in before. Ooh, mirror.
And I'm going to main phase click so that it resolves. Snap visions, Jace. None of these guards are overly terrifying. I think we have to take the Jace, though. I don't even think so. I don't think Jace is that good right now. I think I'm more scared about the Serum Visions than I am the Jace. Because this could be anything. It could even be a Jace. Yeah, we'll, we'll take this Visions. Oh my lord, that is beautiful. I I love everything you just said. It's obviously a win more card, Ryan. So this is now This is a slight problem, because now they get to play Jace. But I get to... Yeah, you get to slam your Jace here. I get to... That's not a Jace. It's not a Jace at all. Well, now we get to bounce this attention sphere and take your Jace. Doing this now so that I have uh, triple blue. So I could take the verdict, I mean I could take their detention sphere, yeah actually I think I like the line of taking their detention sphere, then they get to play Jace, bounce my V-click, or start fate stealing me. And if they bounce my V-click, I'm just fine with that because, like, I just get to click them again. Now, this is, we get punished here if they go Jace, Brainstorm, draw, like, a removal spell. Hopefully, this is just Bounce the V-Click, though. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and slam my Tefiri. Oh, so like he doesn't speak English or... I don't see what uh, what him being Japanese has to do with the price of tea in China. <sighs> so quit using stupid slang and tell the dude you want the list because the list is cool. Be like, I want your deck list. That's all you need to say.
Rip. So go ahead and spreading seeds back here. And then I'm going to draw step click them. And like if they if they uh, counterspell this, they don't get to play Jace this turn. Unless they have mana leak. If they have mana leak, we get we get punished here. Cryptic Jace Snap. Snare. I think I just think the cryptic. And I think I just take this cryptic command. I don't care about Jace. Uh M M Sked and K. I mean that was a really good draw. Um, thank, thank you for the host. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was, knew I was getting somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, to the, to the viewers that are coming over from, uh, from Kay's channel, welcome, my name is Cardinal Noble. Um, uh, currently, currently one and two, playing some modern, um, in this wonderful magic format. So I can play Gideon and plus I can also play Tefiri. I like Tefiri plus. That leaves a path and mana leak. And if we draw land, we get to Serum Visions. Oh, sweet. We know they have a spell snare, but they don't have a colonnade currently, correct? I think we can go ahead and bottom that field of ruin. And then I'm going to untap my two lands. Roof over my head, a woman I love laying in my bed, and it's all right, all right, all right. That should have been a planes. Don't care. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Christian, how are we doing tonight, bud? How's the little one? Dude, that's I'm really glad to hear that. I'm I'm really really glad to hear that, bud. Yeah, 
You got the thing? Ryan, I, I need this list. I have an itch that only this list is going to fix. Why didn't you link it in chat? Oh, you got a picture. Oh. It's, uh, it's this list we just played against. And it's like mono blue control, but it has this combo element to it. It's, it's kind of, kind of cool, kind of awful. I'm going to punch their J's. Hopefully they don't have path. Yeah, it is. It is super janky, but super cool all at the same time. Well, that's rude. Can I have this one, opponent? I want this one, too. No! Boo! Boo! Bad opponent, boo! Uh, I'm pretty sure it's more than just the first five minutes. I'm pretty sure I'm still confused about what the deck does, and I have a list in front of me. Ryan, how much, uh, how much do you love me? Do you love me enough to... to um... Post this list on Imgur and then post that link. Because I would love you forever if you could do that. Or, even better, type it up on Goldfish so I can impl uh, input it to Moto. I'd love you more for that, too. I don't see the problem here. That's fine. As long as I can like visibly see this list. I mean, I kind of want to just punch Gideon. I mean, punch with Gideon. If I could fall. Do I want to snap Serum Visions here? I don't think so. I mean, this is basically free. I should probably do that. This one actually is free. I have some Vanessa Hutchinson, or Hutchins? How the hell do you say her last name? Vanessa Carlton, there we go, that one. Vanessa Hutchins is the uh, actor, right? The actress?
I think I might instep cryptic bounce Jace with this snap. Um, this this game's gonna end in approximately twenty some minutes. Making my way downtown, walking fast, chasing fast, and they're homebound. One, two, three, not quite. Okay. Digga da digga da dum. Da 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 dum. Yep, that's fine. So what are we doing with this cryptic? Probably counter bounce my Teferi? Well, I'm gonna politely ask you to stop that opponent. I forgot this tap for mana. Which is really unfortunate because I wanted to wrath this turn. Uh, why was that a punt? How did I punt? Yes, I would love to bend that. Yes, I'd love to transform this. Uh, we'll go ahead and ask Cancer. I'll take this path. I really like that snap, but okay. Cool. Attack Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, counter target spell, draw a card. That's a good draw. Alright, I feel like we're officially in the driver's seat of this game.
resolves. Well, that's really unfortunate. I don't I don't like this. I don't like this game. Resolves. Not happy about it though. We still have him on a three turn clock with just this. I lied. So we have a Gideon of the Trials, a Cryptic, a Snap. Okay. So we're not we're not completely out of this. So here at Instep I'm going to Sphinx is Rare for four. And hopefully this draws his gas. And like, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So currently, our opponent is drawing more cards per turn. So we might be able to deck our opponent. Glimmer! That is, that is oh so spicy. That's just rude opponent. That is sweet. I, I love it. 10 out of 10. Why are they not just slamming Jace? Thank you, Ryan. You're the best. Right on time, Manalik. Right on time. Why did they let us draw Colonnade? Colonnade lets us punch Chase. Unless they have just like another spreading seeds or something in hand. That was a really good draw. So they bottomed with Jace. So they didn't know we were drawing that.
Yep, so that was that was a really good sequence of draws. Because Azkanto will let us draw towards our Gideon, which will let us emblem, and then we don't get to lose to Jace. And conveniently, we had to settle the records to deal with their other colonnade. We know they have a cryptic. Return No, I don't I don't want to. This is fine. Now we get a detention sphere that Jace. And they still have this cryptic, right? Which is really convenient because we also have a cryptic. I forgot I, uh, I went and uh, got Stay Hydrated bot. I kind of want to. Uh... Oh, this mail leaks just live. And then we get to the detention sphere of their Jace. Oh my lord, I don't know how we won that, but okay. That was really, really close. And then, like, we just pass back and forth, and eventually they deck themselves. So opponents just saving us the time of, of dealing with all that. Okay, um, so they have Snap. I don't think I want Rest in Peace for that. And I don't think I want Timely either. Does this look right? Or would I rather have the spreading seas? I think I'd rather have spreading seas over another path. Alright, man. Christian, you have a good night, bud. Good good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. This list, let's clean up some sloppy boards. So, yeah, I like this. This hand's fine. Not great. We need to draw some lands, but...
It's not a land, but it's still a pretty good draw. Hopefully we draw a white source between now and turn three. I like my white sources opponent. White source? This is a fetch hollowed fountain, so. Which gives us double white and triple blue. My body's ready to get shadow doubted. Is this their own Gideon? Okay. Those are both really good draws. Punch to Fury, put him to one. And then I get to play Gideon and plus on their Gideon. I'll snap Serum Vision since it's fine because now I get to play my Gideon. Go ahead and play out our Gideon. Plus on theirs. Go ahead and settle here. Hopefully this resolves. Is this cryptic? This looks like a cryptic. Which if it is, that's fantastic for us because then we get to play Elspeth. And an uncontested Elspeth should be pretty much game. Counter draw? Okay. To very down. Alright. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, that one deserves a punt count.
Yeah, the damage was prevented. There was no reason to attack. He plussed on my Gideon. That's really bad for us. That's really bad for us. Actually, not really. So now I actually get to colonnade punch their Gideon. So let's think this through. I can cryptic bounce their detention sphere. Draw a card. Punch Gideon for three. Play Search for Ascanta. I can also clear the Gideon, and I think that's really important right now. And then second main, I get to play this Search. And then they'll flip their search here, right? Yeah, this will put them at 7. And then I can spreading seize this. Yeah, we can go ahead and bend that. Go ahead and do this. Hmm. Go ahead and plus on their giddy on their snap attack for three. This is fine because now I get the cryptic now and leave up mental leak. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. No. Yep. Um uh, so I can play snap. Yeah, we we got nothing to do. We'll just pass it back. I would love to draw that.
counter draw. And then next turn we have Snap Cryptic. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm I'm targeting their field of ruin. So hopefully they activate theirs in response. So tap them out a little more. So I can try to resolve a uh, snap cryptic bounce. And then I'm going to emblem here. Insurance policy. Bounce this draw card. Yep. Yep. And then I want to mana leak this cryptic to make them tap out for it. Otherwise, I get my Elspeth back. And then I can snap cryptic. Oop, that's not what I want. I want this one. That's fine. And then they're bouncing their snap. That's fine. Well, naturally, I just peeled the other one right off the top, so. I could have gone for the win there, but I'd rather play it safe and play around path. I guess I had Snap Cryptic up. Eh. Winning is for cowards. Okay. I'm assuming this just takes care of the tokens now, right? Yeah. So now you're dead on board? I'm looking for a counter spell here. Yeah, we'll make them have it. They had to have cryptic here. Oh, 
Well, I guess that's a really good one, too. I knew they had that snap, too. Alright, I have you dead by four per five permanents next turn. Glimmer away, opponent. Game down. Oh, good old MJ. Pew! Draw a billion cards. Does this resolve? So I feel like if it does, you lose. I mean, I like. I see now why uh, why Pregel likes playing this this uh, matchup so much. This this matchup was really really fun. Yeah, this is this is a really really fun matchup. So our draw six would have been super hot. Yeah. We can't figure out how to kill him with three serum visions. Oh, I, I guess we did the thing. Okay, cool. All right, um, round four, round five, going for the good old three two. Uh, thank everybody for coming by tonight. Uh, my name is Carter Noble. For those who don't know me, um, you can find me here on Twitch. You can find me on YouTube and Twitter as well. Um, both of those can be located at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that follow button. It's absolutely free to do. It helps people find my content. Um, if you really like what, what you're seeing and would like to help support the the, uh, the channel, you can always subscribe. Uh, subscription start at four ninety nine a month. And it helps it helps me build as a content creator. It helps, helps more people see what I'm doing. And more importantly, it helps diversify what we get to play, too. Um, this game's really sweet. I'm going to keep. Hopefully we're against like an aggro deck and these paths are really good. Boom. Hopefully it's bad Tron. Ryan, we you got to wait and see us die to Tron again. Come on, Eldrazi Temple. Come on, Eldrazi Temple. It's not an Eldrazi Temple at all. They don't... Eldrazi Tron doesn't play these, right? Like, they don't play the spheres and such? Alright, I'm gonna play basic planes here. One, to conceal information. Because if they have... Uh, if they have Tron here, I'm just going to concede. Like, if they have Tron into Karn, I'm just going to concede. Or even Tron into World Breaker. Alright, this is really good for us. Are you sure they do, Ryan? That doesn't sound right. I, I'm just... I want to see that we're dead. Because, like... We're, we're like, 100% dead here, right? They have turn 3 Tron... I just need to see a threat and I'll concede. Yeah, that's good enough. Nah, we can... Nah, I'm, I'm scooping it up. 
Let's let's go board. What else did we cut last time? This hand looks great. Like we get to just go and pass it back. Come on, Stony Silence. Come on, let me draw a Stony Silence. Okay. Yeah, I I haven't stay hydrated. Stay hydrated rod is going to going to yell at me. Yeah, I think we can bend the second one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and aggressively do this cuz we do the second one. I'm going to blow this mine up again. I think Gideon might just be a little too slow here. I think it's right to get rid of that. And then this is going to grab an island. Man, look at these mono basics over here. How many fours do, does a mono green Tron play usually? I thought it was way more than three. That's not what I want. That's what I want. <sighs> Is this how we win these matches? Because <laughs> this definitely feels like how we win, and... Come on! Oh, my lord. Okay.
Alright, here's hoping they don't draw mine number three. That's where I'm at in life. Please don't have mine number three. That's really good. That's not a mine. That's a mine. Nice sequencing. Come on, spreading seas. I'll take a cryptic. And then we're going to bounce your power plant draw card. And then here we get to leave up, and here we get to leave up Ascanta activation. Plus path. I mean, we're kind of doing it right. Come on, ways to interact with their lands. All right, I'll take a rejection. I'm not happy about it. All right, I'm going to main phase activate Ascanta here because we really need to draw something good. Like a Spreading Seas. Going to continue hating on their towers. You got it. I think Stony's just a little too slow at this point. They know I have this rejection. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Teferi can get poked. I'm not taking my shield down for no reason. Five, six, seven. I'm actually going to let this resolve. I'm going to let this resolve and then pass. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they're not killing the spreading seas. And then here I'm going to snap path. Hey, what's going on? How are you tonight, Wrath?
We're so good at this game. But why are we still playing this game? And this Snapcaster is definitely on, uh... Oh, hey, Tommy. What's going on, man? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm not worried about it. You can get it back to me whenever, so. I mean, I don't know who you are. <laughs> All right, I'm listening. I, I enjoy a good beat story from time to time. Resolves. And pass your worm coil. Play top eight, got Perry versus Buggles, have a poem. <laughs> Intervention pact. That is beautiful. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is actually fantastic. Three, four, five, six. So I, I can't have Elspeth plus Cryptic this turn, so. So I can't have Elspeth plus Cryptic, so I'm just going to pass here. Oh my lord, that is beautiful. Oh man, I'm really bad. I forgot I was untapping lands with Tefiri. I could have had Elspeth plus Cryptic up. Six, seven, um, I'm going to counter this and draw a card. Is that okay, opponent? And then I'm going to let the Sanctum trigger. No, 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 no. This is not a punt. I knew this click was on top. And now I get to take the Ulamog. Yeah, that was definitely not a punt. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take the big scary. Mm. 
No, uh, Eric online is Mr. Bad Magic. I only know that because I recently added him. All right, we have a clock. We have a very big clock. We also have a stone rain every turn. So they have exactly, exactly this turn to find a mine, which will be their fourth mine. Okay, that's not scary. That thing dies to path. I think you should have done this first, because if you hit Karn here... Sure, you have a tower. Yeah, they definitely had some sequencing errors here. Um, that one. Nuke that one. Um, path that one. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can't double activate colonnades. But I can't put them dead on board, so. Here's hoping you don't have it, opponent. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight. This is Ugin. <laughs> Why would they do that? Quit scaring me, opponent. Rip, 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 rip. Oh, wait, they're just dead. Cool. Uh, sure. I'm gonna nuke your mine. Is that okay? Um, this one. Um, this one. Sure. Um, I don't think there's anything I want to change on the draw. Maybe a leak? Uh, 
right. Playing for the 3 2. For all the marbles. Yeah, this hand's great. Hopefully we can... Okay, so hopefully we can find another land so we can... Oh, that's really good for us. They're not going to have turn three Karn. And I think because of that, I'm going to go ahead and play out my Azkanta. Like, they're not going to have a turn three scary, so. And then from this point forward, we just leave up rejection. Don't need that right now. And this is going to get us a blue source so we can leave our projection this turn. Grab an island. This is reserved for big scaries that I care about. That's not considered a big scary. That's considered a big scary. You're still quite a ways away from this, though. I would love to draw Field of Ruin number three. This again is going to get Island so we can leave up Rejection. Yep, that's fine. I'm assuming this is getting another power plant. Yeah, we can go ahead and pin that one. All right, in their upkeep, we're going to bounce this tower. Bounce this one. <coughs> Unfortunately, we don't get to revoke. I should have I should have played this island so I could leave up rejection as well. I'm sorry, what? Are we dead? 
I feel pretty dead. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I will be the first to admit I was not ready for a heroic intervention tonight. I'm assuming this is just getting another world breaker. Oh, we're just going straight for the dick. Gotcha. All right, so we're not completely dead. Um, we have Snap Cryptic. So I'm going to Snap Cryptic, bounce my Azcanta. Counter Ulamog. I don't actually feel like dead. I feel really behind, but I don't feel dead. What, Tommy? Where are we? What are we lost at? Probably getting another tower. Yeah. Please don't have corn here. Or Ugin. Fuck my asshole. Why why do I even talk? Alright. Alright, yep, we're dead. Okay. Um Closing thoughts on the deck. If if we expect Tron in the meta. Um, I would really like a Crucible, and probably a Ghost Quarter or two as well, um, just because that matchup has just felt like so, so bad. Um, other than that, like the, the Planeswalker package we had of Gideon's and Teferi's felt really great. Um, the Sphinx's Rev was kind of medium, we only got to resolve it once, but like, I don't, I don't think... Five games gives us enough of a sample size to say no, we shouldn't play this. But I, it is one of the cards that I'm, I'm hesitant on. Um, Detention spheres, the spreading seas. Like this is a card that like historically I've not been very high on in blue white. I really like where where it is right now in the meta though, to um, have a need for uh, hate for lands when like you got to think like humans. Like, if you can try to cut them off colors, it may work. Um, same with, like, Tron. Keeping them off of Tron, this works. And then you have your Field of Ruins as well to try to keep them off, off their their colors and such. And, like, the, the mirror that we played. Like, at the end of game two, he had one white source. And, like, we had, 
we could have taken him off of it too. So I think I think the the spreading seas and the field of ruins were fantastic all night. Um, I would be interested in trying a non-zero amount of of ghost quarters as well. I don't know if we can fit field of ruins, ghost quarters, and still be able to play all the colored spells. Um. Yeah, I would I would run this list back again, um, with very very minimal changes, if any at all. So, um, what else are we thinking tonight? Do we want to storm on some nerds? We can storm. We can. It's it's two thirty. I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, everybody. Um, thank everybody for coming by. My name is Carter Noble again. Um, you can find me on here on Twitch. You can find me on YouTube. Um, so uh, this is actually this video is actually uh, that league's gonna go up on YouTube here shortly. Um.